Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another cruise video. So today we are already off the ship. It's been a little crazy. This We're literally, rain. literally the first people off the, the ship, ship in the rain. No, we had to get up at 6 a.m. So there was no intro on the ship because we were asleep. But we are doing a tour today in Capri. 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 Yes. Very pretty here. And we have already gotten off the ship, found the place where our tour met. Uh, we booked this one through Viator, not through Carnival. So we had to meet our tour guide in a little uh, snack bar. Picnic bar. Picnic bar, they called it. And then we had to purchase tickets for the ferry. And then we had an hour long ferry ride and now we're in Capri. So we will put footage of all of that up on the screen for you now. But we are in Capri. We we're supposed to be going to the Blue Grotto today here in Capri. But unfortunately with the rain and the weather, it looks like it's going to be closed for rough weather. Too windy. Which is a shame, but it's, it's okay. Still beautiful. It's still beautiful. We're going to go through uh, the Capri town in Capri. I don't know how to say it right. I want to say anti-Capri, but I know Anna, that's Anna wrong. Anti-Capri, which she said means high city. Um, and we have the opportunity there to go up the chairlift. I don't know that we will, but we'll at least look at it. It's an additional cost. So it's going to depend on how long yes. it takes and how much it costs. And then we will go on an hour long boat tour around grottos. the grottos of Capri, even if we cannot go in the grottos. So let's go ahead and get started on all the footage because I have a feeling it's going to be a lot. Yes. All right, y'all, this terminal in Naples is huge, but from where we got off, right down here at gate B, we came off the ship and then we came through this whole terminal and we went straight down the escalator to go outside. If you're not sure where to go, because we were the first ones off the ship, this place was a ghost town. It was raining outside. There still was an information desk right when we got off the ship. We asked her where to go to get out into Naples to find the picnic bar. And she was able to tell us how to go down the escalator. And from there, we asked another gentleman, but if you have uh, international data, I Googled picnic bar and it came up on my map. So there you go. Hope that helps when you're looking for the meeting point. Got off the ferry and now we're going to find our tour. Yeah, a little bit. Well, I took video of the ferry. We could take a picture when we get back. So my name is Tiziana. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I'm from Naples. Today we have the best driver, Mr. Pietro. Pietro. Mr. Paolo. <laughs> Paolo is our driver. We're just leaving Marina Grande, that is the main harbor of Capri Island. Capri is the second 
island that we have in our bay. And I have a bad news. I'm so sorry, but it's better to know immediately. The Bugrera at the moment is closed for the sea conditions. Because you know how it works, the Blue Grotto? Yes. So the Blue Grotto is the most famous attraction that we have here on Capri Island. And everybody, when they come here, they want to go to visit the Blue Grotto. The Blue Grotto has a very tiny entrance, less than one meter high. So to go in, the only way is to take small rowing boats, four people each. You have to sit on the floor, you have to lie down completely to pass and enter in the cave. When there is rough sea, when the sea is choppy, when there are long waves or high tide, it's difficult, it's dangerous to enter. For this reason, at the moment, it's closed for the sea, for the rough sea. So, for your safety, they don't open. I'm so sorry for this, but we will check during our day if they will open. Uh, just in case it will be closed all day long, we have a wonderful plan B. Our plan B is to do a boat tour an hour all around Capri Island to see the other caves, the white, the red, the green, uh, to pass through the Fara Yoni rocks that, that are the symbol of Capri, the dreaming rocks that you see in all postcard magazines, advertisement movies. And we will pass in front of the Pugrero, so we will check why today is closed. So in front of you there is Capri town. On the island there are two towns. One is Capri like the island and the other one is Anna Capri. Maybe Capri, the word comes from a Latin word, Capriae, that means good, bad, the animals. And Anna, it means above off, because Anna Capri is located above Capri. So the high town. But at the moment, we go to visit Capri town. So the center, the most famous, the fashion and the glamorous place of the island. Because Anna Capri is located close to the highest point of Capri, that the name is Solaro Mountain. 589 meters high is the highest point. And on the island, there are three highlights three must to do one is the boat tour one is the blue water and the other one is the chairlift
made it back on our tiny bus. For Calgary Island, I'm special because there is just this main road that is two lanes, so the buses are made for the audience, and also the cabs, the taxi, are built for Capri Island, are all convertible. They take six, seven people, and they are all white. There is just one car, red car, is an old Fiat. And this is the only cross road that we have on the island, four directions. Marina Piccola, the big marina, the main harbor, Capri Town, and up there, Anna Capri. Three, two, one, welcome to the Mamma Mia Road. Welcome to my office. Mamma Mia Mamma Mia, we can see Capri Town, Tiberius Seal. In front, Sorrento Peninsula, in the middle, Mount Vesuvius, a volcano, there is still an active volcano. So in other country, you can find the Sejuvia. Then we can have some funds for the local shopping. Typical products, have you seen the perfume, Cartusia, lemons everywhere, in all versions. Food, ceramics, candles, songs, body lotion, everywhere. The prints of the everywhere lemons. Very famous are also the handmade sandals. There are craftsmen that can make for you in 20 minutes your customized sandals. The first woman to wear sandal was Jacqueline Kennedy, and the cigarette pants also are linked to the sandals because our, the caprice are short linen pants to show the sandals. Then ceramics, then are more or less the typical artisan products that you can find here. This place is more quiet, there are not good stores, and we can have time here in Anatapri also for our lunch. And the typical products are all caprese. Caprese salad is very famous. Mozzarella, buffalo cheese, fresh tomatoes, and basil. Caprese ravioli. Ravioli is a homemade pasta with the ketchup that is inside, served with tomato sauce. Caprese cake is a local pastry with chocolate and almonds, and there is also the lemon version with the lemons and almonds. Then seafood if you want, or pizza because we are in Naples. There are many places where you can eat something. There are places take away. I'm finding the pizza. In a restaurant. All right, so now we are in. Anna, Anna Capri, Capri, which is the high city, came up the Mamma Mia road. Did you, oh. Mamma Mia, like it? Oh, no. Mom That's hates crazy. all high places. And we are here for two hours. So we're going to go, we're gonna go find some pizza. Mom, you know, Mom doesn't like to get food off the ship, but we're here two hours. Yes. We still have to go on a boat. I can't go on a boat without eating. And, um, we are in Naples, Capri is in Naples, which is the birthplace of pizza. So we have to get some pizza. Yes. So we're gonna go find pizza and then we'll walk around the city. We have two hours, so we should have enough time. Yes. There is, I'll walk over and show you, let's go this way. Okay. The chairlift that goes all the way up to the top. I think we are probably gonna skip it because oh, it, so uh, it is a single chairlift. So one person likes skiing. 12 minutes all the way to the top. It's a lot, but it's very pretty. It's very good weather. So we'll see. We'll see if we have time after pizza. Oh, let's go. If you did want to do the tray lift, our tour guide said it's 12 minutes up. 12 minutes back so plan on about 40 45 minutes and it's 14 euros round trip so that's not a bad price no. uh, and she said you can see a full 360 degree view of the whole island from up there so it's just so high and we have two hours since we want to eat oh look how cute this is with the uh, heart at the bottom of the scarves that's pretty um we're going to focus on eating and shopping and we'll see. Ooh.
All right, y'all, so here is the picnic bar, which is the meeting point. You can see it's right in front of this big wall castle thing. And if you come all the way to the end of the port, I'll show you once we get out here. This is right at the spot before the ferry to Capri. So you're looking for this sign. You can see it when you get off the ship from the port. So from the terminal. Yes, from the terminal. So. Let's come down here. Just got off the ferry going back to the ship. And I wanted to make sure to point out the picnic bar because it was raining like nuts this morning when we got off the ship. It was dark. It was raining. Nobody could see. But here we go. All the way down. Yes. I don't see them. And that's where you get off the ship. So we're going to walk all the way back to the ship. Um, the ferry was a little rough, I'm not going to lie. And we booked everything through Viator, so we had to buy our ferry tickets extra mm -hmm. from um, the tour. But it was a fun tour, even yes. without the Blue Grotto. I was very surprised to hear that the Blue Grotto is only open one out of four days, really. Yeah. And it's all dependent on weather. So, you know, it might be open, she said, sometimes in the morning and not in the afternoon, or sometimes it'll be open four, five, six days straight, and then nothing for a couple days. There's no way to know. So even if the Blue Grotto was closed, the boat tour was really fun. It was. Um, and it was nice. We went around the whole island. And, and they showed us the Blue Grotto. They did show us the Blue Grotto and the other. And the Green Grotto. Green. And what was the other color? I don't, Red? I don't know. What I don't know. But it, it was still definitely worth the price. It was fun to see the different towns. I really liked her tour guide. She was very knowledgeable. Oh, yeah, she was great. Titiana. She's really fun. We really liked her. So it was definitely worth it. It's just nice to know all of the caveats of if you may be able to go and that you do need to buy that ferry ticket. So right. don't get off the boat thinking you're good to go. You gotta buy the ferry ticket. So we're gonna go get back on the ship because today's yes. our last day. Show them the ferry. Have to get back. The off. port and the ship. I did already. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have to get off the ship in Rome tomorrow. So I gotta go pack, but yes. we will uh, see you tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a disembarkation video. I don't think I've ever done one of those. I don't know. Show you how to get all your luggage off the ship. Okay. Bye, y'all. Bye.